How High We Go in the Dark by Sequoia Nagamatsu at heart is about relationships and about the pain, values, and flaws that strain those relationships. It's about kindness and love persevering in the face of adversity. The external adversity takes the form of a global pandemic with disturbing parallels to COVID made even more eerie by the fact that the novel was written mostly before 2021. From the author's website, Beginning in 2030, a grieving archaeologist arrives in the Arctic Circle to continue the work of his recently deceased daughter at the Batagaika Crater, where researchers are studying long-buried secrets now revealed in melting permafrost, including the perfectly preserved remains of a girl who appears to have died of an ancient virus. The novel reminds me a lot of Darwin's Radio by Greg Baer in terms of the hard science, which is mostly epidemiology and global warming. Later in the novel, there are softer, sort of head-in-the-clouds sci-fi elements. How High We Go in the Dark does a better job than Darwin's Radio with characters and emotional impact. It's more at the level of Children of Men. Uh, the movie, I didn't actually care for the novel as much. And it has similar themes, I would say, of life after loss and how to go on. The most unique creative choice in How High We Go in the Dark is that each chapter is a self-contained short story from a different character's perspective. Characters appear in each other's stories, sometimes tying up loose ends and acting as important fulcrums, but more often just as ships passing in the night. And the characters. Oh boy, the characters. Mm, kids, could you lighten up a little? So many people angry at parents, sons, daughters, siblings for not being other than who they are. And I was one of them. I wanted to reach out and shake these characters. Stop it. Stop being like this. Just spend more time with your daughter. Just call your sick mother. Stop being such an asshole to your child, your parent, your spouse, your brother. Just change. According to the Goodreads summary, this is a story of unshakable hope that crosses literary lines to give us a world rebuilding itself through an endless capacity for love, resilience, and reinvention. Hold up a second. Is crosses literary lines code for it's surprisingly literary for a science fiction book? This pretentious bullshit has got to go. A reviewer for The Guardian in their review of this book writes, A common criticism of science fiction is that while its ideas may be huge in scope, its interest in individual human beings, their psychology, motivations, and spiritual character has traditionally been sketchy or non-existent. Stop it. Just stop. You, reviewer, are perpetuating this stereotype. Sci-fi as a genre is far too well established to be criticized in such broad strokes. Are there some authors who have neglected the human individuality? Sure, just like there are in every genre. But this book came out in 2022, not 1965. There are thousands upon thousands of sci-fi novels that put humanity at the front and center of the sci-fi. Anyway, back to the novel. How High We Go in the Dark is profoundly beautiful and deeply moving. And yet, I'm going to criticize it for not being other than what it is. I guess I learned something about my own outlook on life. For me, kindness, love, friendship are not enough to cut through the tragedy. There is hope in this book, but I found it to be a cold, dry hope I wanted. I needed comic relief. This book shares many of the strengths and vibes of Children of Men, the movie, and that is a huge compliment, but I needed in this book that movie scene where hippie Michael Caine smokes pot and tells dumb jokes. I'm all the wisest men in the world today. Human that project. Why do people believe this crap? You know, even if these people existed with these facilities in secret locations, fuck me, that's strong. I'm still trying to tell a joke, man. No, sorry. Go on. No, I'm not, I'm not telling it now. No, come on, Jack. No, no, fuck no, it. No, sorry. I'm not fucking done. Go on. Okay. <laughs> I needed to laugh with some of these characters, and I just did not find myself doing that. The ending of How High We Go in the Dark is hopeful. The journey is moving and beautiful and loving. Those things did not cut through the sorrow for me personally. I found it to be very depressing. I want this book to be other than who it is. I love it anyway.